Hey, what's up guys? Joe Gas here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on SB Rotator. Not only a review, I just want to tell you guys about this awesome new plugin that just released for the iPhone or iPod Touch. So I'm not going to show you how to actually download this. All you simply have to do is go in the city and type in SB Rotator. It's two dollars on the city store. I'm sure there's a way to crack it. I didn't do that because I want updates for this thing. It's really awesome and the developer deserves the money. So purchase this and you'll be really happy because it's definitely worth it. Alright, so let me show you how it is. Now, by the title of this video, you're going to expect it what you want. And it's going to rotate the whole iPhone's interface just by moving your orientation. Okay, so there's no actual icon for this. It's available in the settings. I'm going to get over that after I show you what it does. So let's demonstrate this. Turn my iPod to the side here. And as you can see, it rotated. I have reflective dock icons, and it actually resized and still reflected in landscape. You could scroll, open the apps. Everything works fine. Spotlight even works. Now, um... Also, before I even get into this, at, um, before you download this, make sure you have Stacks deleted. Because I had Stacks installed, tested it out, and it crashed every time I tried to go back to portrait mode. And I contacted the developer about that, and he said he will find a way to resolve that problem. So for now, I just have to delete Stacks, and I'm fine with it, because it really wasn't that much of a use for me, considering I only have three pages. And you want to go back to let portrait. As you can see, the icons resize and you're back to portrait. Turn my iPod upside down. Just wait for this. There you go. So it's a really amazing plugin, and it's just, it's really nice how the guy did it. I'm going to go over some bugs. Now, say I go to landscape mode, so maybe if the developer's watching this, He'll have an idea how to fix that. And I searched. The keyboard is still at an angle, if you could see that. So the keyboard orientation doesn't change. I don't know how he's going to fix that. That's probably going to be some trouble. Um, also, um, not that this is a bug, but Pro Switcher is basically cut off. I don't know if there's a way he could contact the developer of Pro Switcher and get it to resize itself. But, I mean, that's not too much of a problem. And I've also noticed that alerts work with the orientation. So, alert will show up landscape or upside down or whatever you want. So, that's not that much of a problem anyway. Now, let's go into the settings and show you how you could actually control this. So, as you can see, you're going to see SB Rotator there. You could either enable it and enable background rotation, which I'll show you later. Background behavior and icons behavior. So it says, if it's in landscape mode, make the icon 70% smaller and the dock 80%, or 70% and the dock 100, or 100% and just rely on how much you've shrunk in your size by the plugin known as Shrink, which I'm not going to get into. For those of you who know what Shrink is, you know what Shrink is and you know what that means. But he recommends just to leave the default checked and it works fine. Background behavior, oh, background behavior. You could make it so it rotates and crops it, or use lock background dash w dot jpeg. A lot of you are going to get confused. He posted on his Twitter, in order to make this have to do anything, you have to upload um, this an image with that exact name to a certain location via SSH. Um, I'll have the developer's Twitter in the description if you're interested in that. But I'm fine with rotate and zoom. Now for road background rotation let me turn that off for you guys and show you what that means now if I go to landscape mode um, if you could tell you really can't tell because it's kind of a primary color the background doesn't really change it stays the same so I mean like, if you had a really bizarre wallpaper, it would stay in portrait mode when you went to landscape. So I can't really demonstrate that. I'm just going to keep that on. And obviously, rotation di disabled is just going to totally disable the whole plugin. Now, nothing works. Obviously, I do want that plugin, but say you're on your 
bed or something and don't want it for that purpose. Also, just for your wondering, I launch an app, say I want to play Scoops. It doesn't know to launch it in landscape mode. It'll just go into portrait. So it doesn't change, obviously, everything. But it's good enough to be worth $2, and hopefully the developer will fix all the problems he's getting via Twitter and all that other good stuff. Okay, so let me show you this glitch. My iPod's fine right now, but watch this. Go in the landscape mode. Wow, that was good that I messed around. Hold down an icon. Switch back to portrait. Now look at that. So now my icons are like two inches above and they're scrunched together. If I press the home screen, everything is screwed up and it kind of moves in a waving motion. The dock's all the way up here. Spotlight's totally like destroyed. Um, there's the page controllers. But if I go back to landscape, go back to portrait, it fixes the problem. So it's not like a big thing. So developers watching this, contact him about that, let him know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you find this useful. Download the plugin and please subscribe for more videos. I'd appreciate that. Have a nice day.